Okay, here we go. I'm doing another 2K. Not really expecting very much from it because I'm not feeling that great. But we'll see. Um, yeah. Let's see what we do. Just, yeah, a bit tired. And, meh. Let's get out of Hotly anticipated races here alongside the open women's. It's the open men's up next. They race together in the men's pair. They're six at the 2019 World Championships, but we'll see them in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. Cameron Buchan, part of the GB rowing team, another Tokyo hopeful. Last race international in 2017, but you often see him vlogging on YouTube, so he's a well-known character. He's on Ergo number 14. Boucheron looking for a 5.47, and Drodias looking for 5.42. And we also have the Finnish international, Joel Naukanen. And he was silver medalist yesterday, but what can he do over this slightly longer distance of 2K now? Guillaume Turlan, Thibaut Verhoeven, Benoit Brunet, Barnaby Delars, goodness me, the names just go on and on. Some really big names. Maciej Zawojski from the squad, Tatsuya Sukurama from Japan. Everywhere I look, I see more solid international names. Thibaut Remy's out there as well, Konstantinos Katarvrias. all over the place some big names looking to try to make their name here in front of the world audience there's Barnaby Delars on number 17 Matteo Androdias on the left potentially two favorites competing Benoit Brunet looking for a 5.47. Most of these athletes My knees will having a bit of a giggle, so go sub six. Just noting this. There's Yol now Karinen from the Finnish squad, silver medalist in the 500 yesterday. We've seen athletes through the course of today struggling to get sub six, with the exception, of course, of Vard uh, from the Belgian squad who did a 5.48 earlier. Well, these guys, many of these guys would be happy with that 5.48 but several of them will want to contest closer to the world best time. Thibaut Verhoeven from France on erg number 20, looking for a 550. Just off the left of this picture, we've got Cam Buchan with his Yam squad, Lycra on. There we go, it's rapid. Absolutely rapid stuff. Cam Buchan off to a good start there. A couple of short strokes, get that flywheel going. Get rocked in off quickly as well. For Russia, he might be the early leader at this stage. Really powerful few strokes from the Russia. It is, he's looking at it like six meters deep the rest of the field. Gia Monte second, Gilad third, Kouye fourth, and Harry fifth. Remains sixth. Already under 50 meters deep in this race. Those first 200 just go by in the blink of an eye. Zokin still at 42 strokes a minute, only on 19 that it hits split. Got a 20 meter advantage on the last one, really. Coming up through 250, he's absolutely gone for it. Stamping the Russian authority on the field here. The last running 21 meters behind him. Running into 126 split, 38 strokes a minute. Zokin stroke down from the uh, 33. Going for a direction of emphasis. We look at the order. Julian Zokin is third, as Rodi has. Thank you. 
display how many meters behind he is you'll see that number starting to, to decrease it's now 19 meters problem is the Azoki will see the same so the race is on at the front of the field here the men's open category Matthew Andretti has the current French record holder out in third place not quite on pace with his French <coughs> record speed where he'd be holding a 126 at the moment, rather than 129 he's holding now. Vizovkin still holding that 20 meter margin, passing the 1,000 meters. It really is an all French line out behind so the nice. Russian and Swiss athletes at the front of the field. Can Cam Buckin get back into the action? He's just off the bottom of that list there in 11th place. Now moving up into 10th, another flag on the line out there. So we've got Russia, Switzerland, France and Great Britain in that top 10. Alexander Piazovkin though, he's just looking so comfortable out in front. 36 strokes a minute, he's constantly looking over. He's one second he's looking at his monitor, the next second he's looking to his right. There's Cam Buchan, alongside Couturier, alongside Grishenor, alongside Piazovkin, then Androdias, then Delage. The big boys pushing fast, then Brune on the right currently in six. These are the favourites. Alexander Piazovkin on Ergen number 15. 700 metres left to go. Still calling 127. But the large and 128, the distance is just not changing now. We come up to 600 metres left. The large is looking good for silver and he doesn't do anything soon. He's got a 18 metre advantage on Androdias. He's only got four metres up on Verhoeven. We hope we could get back into this action here from Verdun. What will see? They'll be wanting to try and move up into medal contention. He's only got to make up five metres to compete with his fellow Frenchman and Rodias. Cam Buckin moving up in towards Benoit Brunet territory here in sixth place. But Vyazovkin still dominating the front. 20 metres the margin. The large in second, Andrade has third, Verhoeven fourth, Rishonov fifth, Brunei sixth, and Bucket in seventh. This is such an impressive break. 300 meters left to go for the leader down in front. Nobody can touch the Dolphin at this stage. He went out like a rocket, and he's just been on to it. He doesn't even look tired. It's just absolute power and red is going to race 38. The last goes to 39 to try and pump it up a little bit more. And Brodiak is going to hold it up to third. Five metres behind him here. Yeah, it's at 126. He's got up to 40 strokes and he's trying to move through and take that one medal. Jan Bucket's coming back though. Here comes Bucket for the Jan squad. Moving up 127. He's only a few metres behind Bill. It's a good contest for a medal place here. Bill with Jan Bucket right on his heel. And Brodiak in that third place. He's going to hold on seven metres ahead of their home as they're coming out to the line. Last few trips here, Alexander Vizovkin, the 2020 World Rowing Indoor Champion in the Open Men's Category. Second place goes to the last, third on the fourth their home, fifth is a close one. We'll have to wait for the results there. Fifth was awfully close. I think Buckley just dropped down the order a couple of places there, right on the line. I'm not sure how. Right, stop rowing for the, the line from the to see. Great race for the Azovkin though. Domination from the outset here for Russia. No time to burn just yet. We're waiting for that to through. But 5.43.5. There we have it. 5.43.5 for Alexander Azovkin. Barnaby Dallas. 5.45 for the Azovkin. 
down 5.7.5. After one, two, three, gold, silver, bronze here in the open category for Ben, 2,000 meters. Second in that men's open category this time, 5.5. Finally, how did that go for you? At the start, we just to get to try to do a cat ball with the, the, the go side. Then try to get to the tank at the end. So I don't do that. profile so the plan was to not get rattled at the 500 and if I got anything else um, try to catch it at the finish but it was a bit too far ahead yeah no he put in a, a great performance but anyway congratulations to you on your silver medal okay obviously that didn't feel that good you're seeing now is mainly from that end bit because up until there maybe the last K was probably UG2 felt very easy let's see what we got You can see that wasn't that great. We'll try again next time. 